Hey guys, I'm gonna, today I'm going to show you how to make a effect, a text effect, sort of like this. Okay, first, I'm going to close out of this. Okay, here it is. Okay. Go to file new and create a, fi a file like maybe, let's see, 500 by 100. And click OK. There, we'll have this. Now take your gradient tool, change your gradient to brush to luminal. Let's see. And find it. Here it is. Brush to luminal. Now just stroke down like this. There you go, there's your brushed aluminum effect. Now you're gonna take your text tool, make it like, eh, it doesn't really matter what color you make it, but I'll make mine blue so it's easier to see. I'll type your text. Now I'm gonna use something called uh, a text font called uh, uh, big. Big Apple, uh, Big Apple NF. It's what I used in that last one. That I made the last picture that I've seen that I showed you guys. Close it out. Now take your uh, your alignment tool, click it, and click here and here. That'll align it to the center. Now left click on the text, or right click. I mean, now click layer to image size. Now, uh, left or right click again and go to alpha to selection. And now select the text only. Now erase that. Erase your text. Now make sure that your it's still selected. And go to select, grow. Oh wait, select, cancel. Select, border, and then make the border whatever size you want. I'll make mine. Four, that's good. No, wait, never mind, that's way too big. The last one I had the text pretty big. Here, I'll make mine like th two. Okay, now that color right there, I'll just, whoops. I'll take my brush and brush that color on there again. Whoa, I'll just make my uh, border one because that's, that's a pretty big border. Whoops. Make my border one. That looks better. Actually, that does not look better, but dang it. Ah, I guess big's okay. Oh, I select none on that. I take your fuzzy select tool and select the areas like this. Hold down shift to select multiple areas. And select all the areas with like holes, you know. Oops. There. Like in the text. Not like in the holes like this. Just in the text. Oh, you make your uh, your foreground color black. And take your gradient tool again. And go to FG to transparent. And stroke down. Just like that. Now, keep it. Make sure. Don't click it. Select and then take your eclipse select tool. Oops. Take your eclipse select tool and click a uh, intersect with current selection right here. And now select the top part of the selection. Oh, oh crap. I'm using Cam Studio today. I'm getting that uh, hypercam didn't work out too. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry it took me so long to make a new uh, tutorials. I seriously am sorry. I was having trouble because Camtasia Studio, my trial ended. And I was looking for a new uh, video recorder. Okay, now make your foreground color white and keep it on that gradient and stroke down. Wait. Oops. Make a new layer first. Make it transparent later. Now stroke down. 
just like that. Now merge the new layer and the text layer. Merge them down and select another. See what it looks like. Actually doesn't look too bad. But actually, you know what? I'm going to go back here again and make that black color a little darker. There it goes. That's better. Now I'm going to do that all over. You don't have to make a new layer on the on this part, but I do because it makes it look a little bit better. There, just like that. Now we're going to select off of the selection like that, and now click select, grow, and grow it by whatever you want. Click OK. Actually, I'm growing a little bit bigger. Now, yes, this part has to be pretty big. Well, sorry about that. Make a new layer and click transparency right here and click OK. No. Crap. Yeah, this is good. It's OK right now. Try to get it all in one stroke so it leaves like those. And move your uh, text layer above the background. Now select none again. And Select your new layer and click filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur it by yes. Till it looks good. I'll click OK. There it goes. Okay. There's your uh there's your web 2.0 text thing. I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, you can edit this in the, whatever way you want. Like, you can click your text line, click off of the selection. Or actually, go to image, uh, image, merge visual layers, and click merge. And now take your uh, clip select tool, start down here, and go up to about there, and move this like that. looks good to you. There. Whoops. Click select all first. Now do that. And make sure your intersect with current selection is still selected. Which it should be, but just in case, you know. foreground white there and then I don't know just stroke whichever way you want and oops take off that now go up there and make a transparent layer now do that and then change your opacity down and select no there there's your uh, text your text thing it probably look better if you made the text a little bigger a little bit bigger and maybe make a it's 600 by 100 or 600 by 200 maybe so you can make your text a little bit bigger so you won't have a really thick outline and it'll look a lot better if the outline's not as thick I'd make the color a little bit darker you know the blue color a little darker like maybe like maybe about that dark okay talk to you guys later bye